Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we have Mark Mayfrey, who is the CTO of Beyond Trust. So welcome to the jam, Mark. Hey, thanks for having me. No worries. So um, we're going to be talking a lot about the um, malware threat report that Beyond Trust released recently. Um, so to start off, can you give me a brief rundown of what the report covers? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the report was really to try to map out, you know, what's happening in the landscape of ransomware, phishing trends, things of that nature. And, and particularly on the end of ransomware, really trying to understand what are some of the, some of the underlying kind of causes of how it's able to propagate, you know, spread further with environments, uh, how that overlays with things like the MITRE attack framework and related. Brilliant, yeah. Um, so can you tell me more specifically, what are the most common attack vectors you saw in the research? I, th I think one of the things we consistently see is um, as attackers are trying to gain a foothold within a company, um, what's required in almost every case, you know, for the spread of something like ransomware, uh, is the ability to kind of gain increased privileges, uh, move laterally through the environment, through the increased privileges that are gained. Uh, and that eventually allows you to kind of do the sort of ransomware techniques that we're all uh, familiar with. Right, yeah. Um, so how, can you tell me how these attack vectors map back to something like the MITRE attack framework, for example? Yeah, from a MITRE perspective, you know, obviously the MITRE framework itself covers a, a wide area of different techniques that are used by attackers, uh, particularly on the end of ransomware, right? When you look at the kind of cross-section of uh, lateral movement as, as one example, right? There's a lot of different methods of kind of like how you can go about that. Um, there's obviously from a perspective of uh, uh, lateral movement being kind of an emphasis around uh, needing privileges to go from system to system uh, across SMB or whatever the protocols might be. Obviously, in your traditional kind of Windows Active Directory environment, you'll find things like SMB as being kind of a, a common way. And then it, there's really the variance on like what are the different specific techniques that might be used. Everything from the, the you know piggybacking off of um, you know everyday administrative tools, uh, you know PS exec things from system internals, etc. Uh, to more custom tailored malware. And so it's really everything in between that. Right, yeah. Um, so knowing all you know from the research, um, what should organizations do to mitigate risks associated with these malware attacks? I mean, I think there's, you know, a few things, right? So a lot of it is, you know, what are the upfront preventative measures that you can do um, to try to, you know, keep attackers out in the first place? So looking at, you know, strong forms of authentication, uh, looking at modern authentication mechanisms like FIDO2, excuse me, um, and related that really can help uh, provide kind of uh, fish-proof forms of uh, authentication. Um, but then also having the understanding, you know, the kind of assume breach mentality that somehow, some way, uh, an attacker will get a foothold in your environment, right? And what will allow them to kind of spread further and move laterally really comes down to privileges. So you know, good best practices that have, uh, you know, tried or true in security around making sure your users are not running as administrator, right? At least having some barrier to entry for an attacker uh, to have to gain those increased privileges versus just being given them in the first place, right? And then what do you look at from like a detection engineering perspective on, you know, worst case scenario, you are compromised, there is a foothold, they are able to gain increased privileges in some way. Uh, what are you doing to try to monitor and detect the sort of abnormal behaviors, right? When you look across the different identities and machines within your environment and how might they be behaving uh, abnormally. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, and one final question for you today, Mark. Um, where can viewers go to read more about this uh, research? Yeah, the research paper is available on beyondtrust.com. Uh, so you can simply download it and dive in. And we'd of course love feedback or, or anything that uh, folks want to share back at us, right? It's something that from a research perspective, um, there's obviously a lot that we do as a company with the products that we build, uh, but what we do is very much informed by the research of where threats are going, how things are evolving. And so I think understanding, not, not just simply kind of, you know, what, what customers and companies might be worried about, right? But the sort of challenges that they're facing. I think one of the things often not talked about from a ransomware perspective is the kind of the human toll, right? Of what it actually means to be an IT security engineer dealing and responding with something like ransomware. It's a, a stressful uh, kind of cra crazy ride, right? So um, I think to us being able to connect with people in that way is really important and hopefully this research kind of furthers doing that.
Brilliant. Cool. Well, that's all I've got to uh, for today's IT Jam. So um, yeah, thanks for joining me today, Mark. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it.